Hello, sharing a brief overview of tapping and emotional freedom technique. I am Serene Prince, owner and holistic psychotherapist of Orchard Blue Counseling Services. This day I had a strong impulse for something sweet. No, many things sweet. Sweets go against my health goals for a healthier eating lifestyle. As I tap, I'm allowing myself to feel the impulses so I can unveil the emotions and thoughts attached to it. The emotion is anxiety and fear, creating a strong impulse for comfort food. But what is the negative thought attached? As I think about any pressing issues, my car repair issues surface. See, spending large amounts of money can cause me great distress which creates negative thoughts of making a bad decision, leading to unimaginable debt, which is a false sense of fear. To calm myself, I create my emotional freedom statement, saying, even though I am scared to spend money to repair a car I need, I trust myself and know that I am financially sound. I continue to repeat this statement as I tap my gamut area. See, do you see that knuckle between the pinky finger and the index finger? That's called the gamut point. That's my preferred area to tap. By repeating my emotional freedom statement, I have honored my emotions, created awareness, and acknowledged my negative subconscious thoughts, then freed my emotions and replaced them with positive, truthful, and hopeful thoughts and emotions. In therapy, as clients repeat their emotional freedom statement, they sometimes discover other pressing subconscious thoughts or memory that is the core or trigger of their symptoms an undesirable behavior. Therapists offering tapping and emotional freedom technique may offer a variation different to this. Be open to self-healing, read up on tapping, and try it when no one is looking. I hope you found this useful. Have a great day.